Hey, it's Diane at Essential Packaging. Today we're going to show you how to put together a great gift box or gift basket for that special occasion or that special someone in your life. So this is the finished product that we're gonna to get to and I'm just gonna take you sort of step by step on how to put it all together. So what you wanna determine is sort of what the design is of the box or the basket that you wanna to put together. So there are a couple of different variations. This would be one here that you would be able to put a couple of bottles of wine, um, some napkins, a gift card, um, some chocolates, something like that. And you would use one of our beautiful gift boxes that are two pieces. The lid would go underneath it. You would put all your products inside it and do it up with a cello bag. The one that we're gonna work with today actually has the lid at the back of the basket. So it gives a little bit more stability and you just basically see it from the front back. So I'm going to take you step by step on how to put this one together because it is a, a really nice presentation box for someone. So again, you're going to start with the two-piece gift box. I, this one is a little bit bigger than the one that I showed you with the two bottles of wine. All you're going to do is position the lid behind the box, just like this, and we're going to take it from there. So I'll show you the next step we have here. What you're going to start by putting in the bottom of your box is just some packing paper. So you just put the packing paper inside. This is going to give the, the um, products that you're going to put inside it um, the stability that you need. And it also cuts down on the amount of the shred that you're going to put inside your basket. Um, so it cuts down on the amount that you have to use for that as well. So it's just going to be like that. You're just putting it inside the box. The other thing you want to do once you've done that, and we did determine that we're going to use the lid behind, is you just want to secure it. So you can wrap ribbon around it, or in the sample one that we, we showed you, um, I actually used gift wrap around the whole outside of it, and then gift wrapped one of the items with the same wrapping paper uh, inside the basket. So it kind of ties it all together. So you can do that or just with a nice piece of ribbon or something like that, but it does secure it for you as well. Okay, so now that we've put the uh, packing paper inside the box, now you're just going to add your shred. And shred is available in all kinds of colors, um, you know, determine either the color of the box or if it's a theme like Christmas or a baby or something along those lines then you want to, you know, match it up that way. And it also is a nice idea to match the products that are going into the gift basket or the gift box. So you just cover your packing paper just like that with the shred. All right, so now you've got that. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to place your products inside your gift basket or a gift box. So this was the one that we showed you at the very beginning. All the, the main thing that you want to kind of keep in mind is keeping the larger items at the back and working forward because it just gives it more stability and you're able to see, view and see all of the items that you're putting in place for you as well. Okay, so you're at that point now. You've got all your items that you want to put into it. And now I'm just going to show you. So you can imagine at this point that you've got your items inside the box. And we have put a clear uh, cellophane bag around the box. These are really handy because they're good to go and you don't have to try and put them all together with a roll of cello wrap. They come in various sizes and they make it much easier to be able to secure your whole basket. So after you've put all your items again into your basket, all you're gonna do is just Sprinkle it all together, stretch it up, and of course it's easier when you've got your items in place because this is heavier, so it does hold it a little bit easier for you as well. Just stretch it around like this. So you just gather it all up like that, and take some of this very fine tinsel cord or tinsel twine and just wrap it up this way. This is easier than trying to hold it in place and then tie your bow or your ribbon in place for you. So do this first because then it'll be easier when you're going to attach your final uh, your final bow. So just like that. Wrap it around. Tie it in a knot. 
can just fluff that up and then just cut away the excess of the tinsel cord or the tinsel twine. Just like that. Then what you want to do is add a finishing touch. And this beautiful pull bow is a really nice finishing touch for a, ba for a basket or your gift box. So you just take, these are the pull bows here. They have a tie on them like this. And you want to just, I'm just going to move this off to the side a little bit. You're just pulling this into place. This is such an easy way and a beautiful decorative way of adding to your gift basket or your gift box. And then all you're going to do is attach it. You can cut these to size. If you're wrapping this around a different type of a box, you've got lots of extra string on them as well. So you're just going to add that to the front of your gift basket or your gift box. And if you wanted to add a little tag or something just as the finishing touch i can put it on the finished one here and then you see the finishing touch with the cute little tag attached to it too so this is a very quick um, video on just how to show you how to put it all together but if you go to our blog which is a beautifully wrapped life.com there's step-by-step -step instructions with pictures so it does make it easier that way all the products you've seen today is on EssentialPackaging.com's website. And stay tuned because we're going to be doing lots more of these fun videos on different products and different things that you can put together. Thanks for stopping by.